Hello, this is Heisenberg. Hi there, and this is G Forever. And we're here to review the brand new SH Monster Arts Mothra and Rodan set. Yes, and these guys are based off of the 2019 movie, Godzilla King of the Monsters. Oh yeah, so we're going to review them and also compare them to the corresponding NECA figures. So here we have a big brown box. Um, yeah, I actually like these uh, SH Monster Arts yeah. brown boxes. I'm getting rather nostalgic for them. <laughs> Mothra and Rodan 2019. Yay. Sells for about one hundred five dollars. Ooh, look at that! Look at the beautiful box art. Oh boy! Oh yeah, yeah. looking good. So can we see the back? Let's yeah, let's spin it around. Let's look at the back again. So on one side, the the orange side of Rodan, you'll see it's just the name, and then on the back, we have uh, Rodan Mafra battling. The Mafra side's all blue, and up top, blue and orange. All right, so got the top open. Slide. The two characters out. Two monsters. Oh, very nicely Look displayed. Yeah, there they are. It's yeah, I like how they sh uh, yeah stored these. They're pretty much all put together. They're put yeah already put together and one ready piece. to go. Yeah, one piece ready to go. Oh yeah, very cool. All right, so here's Rodan. I like how the head is done. Um, you can actually move the beak on this one. Oh yeah, the head goes up and down. So yeah, yeah, yeah interesting. Oh yeah. Definitely can get more, you know, more angles. You can make him, let me move, remove the stand a little bit. Oops. Another Monster Arts uh, Oh, did it happen QA. already? Oh, there. There we go. We've got ourselves a Monster Arts. Where to go? Let's see it. Yep. Let's see it there. Yeah, the, yeah his foot came off already. Loose ball joints. Loose ball joint. So we know. That's how you know. That's how you know who made it. Yep. Yeah, so, you know, uh, Tamashii Nations uh, still has not corrected their QA problem with the loose ball joints. Yeah, yeah, but he's looking good when, he's, when he isn't. Oh, I like that view. Like this view? I like that view of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's looking good. Yeah, I think, Rodan, you know, they did a good job of the sculpt, I have to say. But um, I yeah, think my... Sort of like the landing view. Yeah. Like when he's coming in, coming in to land or attack. Yep, or trying to use his feet to grab the um grab the, the that ship yeah but yeah i think my um my biggest thing with this figure is the paint is just uh, a little dull um but i mean other than that i think he's he's a great figure um yeah, I don't, yeah good I don't, looking good looking angles yeah i wouldn't call it dull but i would call it uh, like a flat a little uh yeah uniform uniform yeah 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 Oh, but he's uh, he looks like he looks fun to play with though. Yeah, Man, definitely. So. You can get a lot of uh, movements. Like, yeah, looks like at the waist, he moves by the waist. Um, looks like double double waist. His tail moves, which doesn't really happen in a lot of Rodan figures. Um, you can move the legs. Yeah, Unfortunately, you can't really make the oh, foot flat. Goes. Yeah, the fort doesn't go flat though, um, so he can never really stand on his own. He's he will probably have to stay on a stand yeah. most of the time, either in flying mode or landing mode. Okay, and what kind of? Okay, so what kind of wing articulation do we have here? Looks um, like there's a, I suspect there's a few. Almost looks like there's a few different uh, joints there. Yeah, there's a few joints. Um, that's scary sound, but like hmm. it does look like it's a ball joint. So you can make Rodan move um, at different angles. Yeah, he's got big wings. Yeah, quite large wings, just like the movie. Let's try to get it back into place here. Almost, yeah, the joints almost it seems seems a little similar to the uh, uh, King Ghidorah's uh, Monster Arts joints. Yeah. But you can definitely go in for that oh, flying, yeah. the flying, flying yeah. Rodan. Yeah. Yeah, I like it sort of, yeah, I like that you can have them, yeah, fly, you can have both the flying pose and like the landing pose. Yeah. I think they did pretty cool to, to allow the, uh, the neck, the neck movement. And oh the yeah, I like movement. that neck movement. Yeah. Yeah, and the mouth, yeah, and the, yeah, mouth up. Yeah, you don't have to take it. You don't have to switch the head. You don't have to switch the head to so get the mouth get, there. I like yeah. the way the beak looks too. Yes, the beak the beak looks great on this figure. Oh, the eyes look good too. Yeah, so you know, really good looking eyes. I really like the crest. 
uh, has a nice curve, uh, just like the design so of the movie. Like forehead. Yep, the the double the double horns. On the horns. Too. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The forehead, the horns, the eyes, the beak. Yeah, That's, the tongue, uh, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tongue there. Yeah, really good, good sculpt. So this is, I it definitely, yeah, I definitely, I think this is definitely the uh, better of the two figures. Yep. There, it's really more fun. Yeah, definitely a lot more uh, poses you can do. Yeah, and it, he has a he has to, uh, stand, and then there's two, um, I guess, two ways to pose him. You can pose him with the uh, the flying mode, I guess, the flying stand. So he can be cruising along there. Yep. yep. Or if you swap the, uh, the stand top. Yeah, you can sort of like, yeah, have a hook hook around his waist. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, something like that. So, unfortunately, the NECA stand beats the uh, Monster Arts stand quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, this, at, yeah, look the, at this stand here. Yeah, the NECA this stand, is, yeah, right out of the movie. Yeah, this is when Rodin appears from the movie. Yeah, yeah, from emerging from the volcano. Yep. So they got the volcano here and they got an explosion. Yep, it's whereas really this cool. is just a clear stand. Yep. Um, here's the NECA Rodan. You'll notice that the NECA Rodan is actually smaller than the Monster Arts Rodan, so it's different than the oh, so NECA Mothra. It's a reverse. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, I'm I'm digging the uh, NECA paint more already. Yeah, so I think the paint alone, I think NECA is, is hands down the winner. It just it just really captures more from the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. It's more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's much. It looks more like a real thing. Mm -hmm. Like with the. Uh, yeah, just the uniformity of the monster arts makes it much look much more like a plastic toy. Yeah. Whereas the with the NECA, it looks much more like a mo you know like a model you know model from the film. Yeah. So um, both of them feature like the flapping style wings. Um, this one, this NECA, unfortunately, cannot bend the wings forward or back. Um, you can get a little bit, but that's about it. Um, yeah, not as much articulation. Nope. You don't have the tail articulation, so you lose that as well. Um, you you the you have a replaceable head. So I have the yeah. open mouth right now. Yeah, there's two a heads. there's a you can switch it to the closed mouth head. Yeah, no jaw articulation, but two heads. Yeah, yep. one open, one closed. And then you have the head and the neck um, movement, and you can move the legs. Uh, the cool thing about NECA, you can bend the wings. Yeah. So you can kind of have like a you know um, like a sitting pose or when yeah, he's like sure. slowly. I'm not sure if I'd ever really want to do that. Yeah. But uh, oh yeah, there he is. Look at that. One of the best things about the Rodan is that he's got a lot of fun articulation. So very, yeah. very, uh, pl very, a lot of uh, very pl good uh, play, play, uh, playability. The Neca Rodan looks really like fierce, like very. Uh, a very very angry looking Rodan. I I, I kind of like the expression a lot, uh, but the Monster Arts one, like the eyes and the uh, face, uh, it captures that that smile smirk from the, the, the that scene when he's uh, attacking the fighter jets. So I think the Monster Art ones is a it's a little more accurate with the facial expressions and the the sculpting. All right, so here's a Mothra up in close. You can get a nice look at her face. Um, it looks like here is the the version without her like luminescent glow, so you can see a lot of the earth tone colors like browns and yellows. Uh, I like the the shade of blue they use for the eyes. Yeah, the eyes look good, but yep. actually the color on the body. Yeah, like the doesn't paint, do yeah, it for me. Yeah, the paint on the body. I don't like the choice of color or just how she's painted, mm -hmm. especially well compared to the NECA. Yeah, I like how the NECA did it uh, like quite a bit more. Yeah. I mean, here, let's take a look at her back. You know, it's a little darker brown. Yeah. yeah so it's, it's okay, but uh, yeah. I really like the like the NECA better. Yeah, the wings mm -hmm. here, you know, I think the they got the paint down um, pretty accurate. Yeah, I kind of like the, yeah, I kind of, I think the wings are pretty. I think it's, uh, I think she is, uh, d d does look, will look uh, pretty on the shelf. Especially, yeah. like I said, it's like, especially with like the two sets. Mm-hmm. Like having uh, two sets of wings, I think they sort of, uh, if we look at her from behind, mm -hmm. I think uh, looking at the, the two sets of wings uh, can look uh, quite pretty. 
yeah so the wings are not see-through um but you know the but you know it does have a nice paint job yeah so what so what is the articulation like all right so we can definitely have we got the ball joints on the wings which was uh, absent on the NECA at least we yeah we were afraid to try yeah so you can get a lot more range of motion you can make Mafra like fly different angles um, definitely much more poses you can uh, you can make it and and the uh, ball joints hold up well you have the mantis arms that can be moved uh, the back two legs that can be moved and the middle ones let me see if you can not really sure if they're meant to be moved but let's uh let's give it a try so i'm not sure if it's just bending because it's soft or there's a joint i mean it looks like there's some there's something but can't really tell the stand is very plain. It's, this one's just completely blank. Like they didn't, they didn't put any effort into it at all. Yeah. So here comes the NECA. So you can just, you know, just looking at the stand alone, the NECA is uh, the winner for me. So oh, yeah, yeah. So there's the NECA stand. Mm -hmm. like I said, very, you know, very much based on the movie, like her coming out of her uh, cocoon. cocoon. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the NECA body much more. I like the color. I like the way it's painted. Yeah. And I like the uh, sculpture. There's more detail mm -hmm. too. If you look at just just the tips of the the mantis arms, like you you can see there's more detail. Um, it you have different colors, whereas it's just kind of painted over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think they both have good eyes, but then I think everything mm -hmm. else. Everything else on the neck is uh, uh, body is a lot better. Yeah, if we look at the antenna, uh, I think NECA has more shading and maybe even more detail of the feather. Well, like the feathering. Yeah, it's just looking at the back of the body again, more detailed on the NECA and less on the uh, Monster Arts. And let me zoom out. Let's check, compare the wings here. Yeah, looking at the wingspan, I think NECA so, is slightly yeah, we, bigger. Yeah, so we got a bigger wingspan with the NECA. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, yeah, I think I personally like the NECA better. Um, with the I, I like the way how the wings are done. Um, there's there's actually if you look if you look closely at the wings, you can see that um, that the translucent plastic is sculpted. Um, whereas the Monster Arts one does have a little bit of that, but it's um, it's not as transparent. Okay. Okay. There we are. So yeah, here they are. So here they are from under uh, from the other side of the wing. Yep. Yeah, and like I said, you can see the yeah the neck wings are uh, longer, uh, body. You know, I think the body's more uh, detailed on the neck. Mm -hmm. And uh, but yeah, it's sort of like a little bright. The paint's a little brighter on the Monster Arts. Yeah. But not as uh, but not uh, translucent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For this SH Monster Arts, you know, Godzilla 2019 set, I think Rodan is like my clear favorite here. Mm -hmm. That's the one I would recommend uh, people get because, mm. uh, yeah, I love the articulation and mm -hmm. the uh, and the sculpture. Yeah, and yeah, really great head there. Yeah. For an entire set, though, I would uh, I would prefer the uh, Neca set, okay. even though even though it doesn't have uh, King Ghidorah. Mm. The uh, yeah, because the Neca set's much more affordable. Yeah. And uh, it's also just, uh, you know, a lot, of, also a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, the paint job on the neck is, I mean, hands down um, uh, better. Um, but I, I agree, I think I like Rodan a lot. Um, Rodan comes with Mafra, so you get two figures. So something else you should consider is actually keep an eye on what X Plus is doing for mm -hmm. the movie. Because uh, they're doing some good stuff. Oh, so yeah. we have a so we have a video when they were at New York Comic Con. Mm -hmm. So watch, I'll put that at the end of this video. So uh, check out our video on uh, on the X Plus booth at uh, New York Comic Con, so you can see what uh, Godzilla 2019 uh, uh, figure, figures they're making. Of course, those are statues, mm -hmm. but there's some there's some really good looking statues there. And uh, uh, oh yeah, and they're doing other good stuff too. So yeah. well worth checking out. Yeah, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, that'll help us. Um, you know, stay on top of all the latest items and also going back to some classics. Oh yes, please subscribe. That's yeah. the best thing you can do. That's the best thing you can do to help us out. Alright, so this is Heisenberg and G Forever hoping you enjoy the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2019 Rodan and Mafra.